Hello and welcome to the shop. A good buddy of mine, Jim Heater, was in town recently visiting his daughter and he swung by the shop. We hung out for a couple of hours, just talked turning, you know, and, and uh, had a good time. And Jim brought me something and I want to show it to you. Take a look at this. It's from Harvest Wood Blanks and it is a blank. I believe what it is is trimmings from trees and they glue those trimmings together to form a blank. And you can see all the different little twigs in there. Now this is going to be an extremely challenging blank to turn because as you're turning it and as it rolls around and your tool hits, it's gonna to wanna to grab these twigs and rip them out of the blank. So it's gonna be a challenging turn. Um, what I'm gonna do though is we're gonna to try to take we're going to try to take advantage of thin CA glue and we're going to soak this blank in an effort to to lock together these twigs and increase my chance of turning this blank. We'll also remove the corners from the blank so that I don't have to hit that hard corner. I can come around and, and I'll have less of an angle um, when I turn this into an octagon. So we got a couple things. We're going to start off by soaking this blank in thin CA so that we can lock together as best as possible all of these twigs. I'm going to use a little thin CA glue and I've got a couple of matchsticks and the idea behind the matchsticks is um, when I coat this with CA I don't know if it's going to soak all the way through or not and if it does that's going to cause this to stick to the cardboard. It's not a huge deal because the cardboard will turn off but I want to be able to flip it over and soak this side as well as thoroughly as possible. And having a little matchstick stuck to it versus a whole big chunk of cardboard is going to increase my ability to, to coat the uh, second side or the opposite side of this blank. It's really drinking that CA glue. What I'm going to do is I don't like to use activator when I do something like this. I like the glue to be able to soak into the blank as much as possible and dry naturally to really, it's going to get deeper and it's going to solidify uh, all of those pieces together. So I'm going to walk away and leave this. We'll come back in a minute, flip it over, get the opposite side, and then we'll get the front and back. I gave my blank plenty of time to dry naturally. And as you can see, one of the matches stuck to the bottom of the blank because some CA managed to work its way through the blank. There we go. Wasn't bad. You can kind of see right there where the CA drilled through. What we're going to do now is the same exact thing on the opposite side of the blank. I've got my blank cut to the proper size and I've gone ahead and put a 27 64 hole right down the middle. And what I'm going to do in order to hopefully help uh, with this blank is I'm going to drool CA glue right down the inside of the blank. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to seal this, um, this, uh, tw these twigs together from the inside as well as the outside. So we're going to let that set and dry and we'll come back in a little bit and get it tubed up. I've brought my blank over to the lathe and I'm ready to begin turning it. And you can see by looking at it that I have thoroughly soaked this with a thin CA. It is just has been saturated with it and it's almost got like a nice uh, nice coating on it. Uh, my objective now is to just get this turned true and as soon as it's true I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to soak it again because I really want all of these little these little branches to stay together uh, throughout the entire turning. happy with how the blank is looking. You'll notice I got a couple of voids there. I'm going to fill those before I go any further. Uh, it's starting to look a little dry here. See the difference? That's the CA. There's no CA here. I still got a little bit of a flat spot there. I'm going to go ahead and put a light coat of CA on this. I'm going to start by a couple of these voids. I'm going to fill them with uh, some medium CA and I'm just going to soak the blank down with a thin CA. Uh, let it dry really good and uh, then we'll continue turning. A lot of these uh, little spots, these little dimples or 
uh, voids, I guess we'll call them, will probably go away as we're turning. They're not super, super deep. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little CA in there because if nothing else, it'll just sort of help hold things together as I turn the next layer off of the blank. Now for a little thin CA just to sort of lock everything back together. Doesn't take a lot. Look at it smoking. I guess that's from the uh, excess activator that I put on there. Let me back up a little bit. I don't want to be breathing that. I need to get my mask. Normally I have a, uh, a mask that I wear when I do this so that I don't have to breathe those fumes. Um, so bear that in mind. They are not good for you. All right. Woo, let's get away. We're going to let her dry uh, naturally for a little bit. And then uh, when it stops smoking, I'll hit it with a quick shot of activator. Then we'll be back to turn the next layer off. My CA glue has had plenty of time to dry. Uh, while it was drying, I pulled the tailstock back and I verified that my bushings were not glued to the blank. If any CA drooled over the side, it could glue them to the blank and I don't want that to be the case. Uh, I've gone ahead and brought the tailstock back up, tightened it down, and I've got my parting tool. And here's what I usually do. I take the parting tool and I'll lay it on the bushings at either end and you can feel and you can listen for any vibration. I didn't hear anything at all. It ran nice and smooth. So I feel like I am ready to uh, take the next layer off of this blank. I stopped again. You might wonder why so soon. I felt something hit me in the chest and I wanted to check. Yep, looky right there. A little piece came out. You can kind of see it. If I angle this back, it's like a little slice. Um, that's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and fill that with CA along with a couple of these other little voids. And uh, that is well below the surface. We're just going to keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any uh, anything separate like that when we get down closer to the final diameter. I'll start by filling this little void here. It's going to lay down some CA and lightly spritz it. That'll get the surface drying. Uh, I'll come back to that and see how it looks after I touch up a few of these other ones. Give that a second to sort of soak down in there. I think these two I filled before because they look like they had CA around them. I think it just did not soak. I see a bubble. See the, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a bubble inside of that one. Let me grab something and get rid of it. Got this little file and I'm just going to stick it down in there and pop that bubble. Look at that. And by popping the bubble, the CA glue goes down into the, the void a little deeper. Still got a little bit of a bubble in there. I don't know how well you can see. There we go. She's, well, it's gone now. All right, let me hit that with a little activator. I think that may have been what happened the first time is there was a little bubble below the surface and uh, I turned the surface CA off and the bubble showed back up. I don't see any other, any other holes. That one looks pretty darn good. It's actually relatively level. I think I'm going to hit this with a quick coat of CA and we're going to get back to turning. I've recoated my blank with thin CA. I'm going to hit it with some light coats of activator, let it solidify. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead once again, relieve the pressure on my tailstock and both sides, my front and back bushings are perfect. Let's tighten her back down. Fire it up and test. No vibration, nice and dry. I'm ready to get after it. What I am going to do real quick though is my tool, when you do this with CA, look at that. You get a nice buildup and I can still feel a bit of a burr, but the CA, I know from past experience, will, will sort of build up and gum up the edge of your tool so you don't get a great cutting edge. I'm gonna go ahead and just run this over the, uh, the grinder and just touch it up because I, I think that's gonna make a huge difference. And we'll start by brushing all this junk off the front. See that right there? You can see that residue right there. That's CA glue. So it, it'll stay on there, but what will happen is I'll get a nice new edge and I'll be able to cut without any issue. The 
this blank is coming along really nicely. I'm just going to keep babying it uh, until it's done because I tell you what, it is worth it. These are beautiful blanks. <laughs> You saw it happen, a chunk came loose. There it is, if you look at my tube, it's covered in CA, so I had good glue on there. I think I just got a catch. I mean, you're, you're really, you're turning in grain no matter how you look at it the entire time. So I'm gonna try to, let me get my file. I got a little wispy piece here that's uh, keeping me from putting this back on. Check the bottom of it. Just trying to be very careful with this. Let me get uh, let me get a couple things out of the way here. Make it easier for me to work. Okay, I've got a good tight fit. Bringing in the medium CA glue. <laughs> I got a real tight fit. Didn't want to come loose. Let me just get a little bit under the edge here. Very carefully. I don't want to damage it. Don't want to break it. Okay, we're going to put some medium CA in here. Just going to make sure everything gets a little medium on it. Probably way more than we need. But you know what I always say? Use it like somebody else is paying for it. And that's the darn truth right there. Okay, I'm going to hold it down with my fingernail. And hit it with a little activator. Okay, get it on the other side. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit of a, of a catch right there. What I'm gonna do is build that up. You can see this side here is really smooth with the exception of the CA. This side where I got the catch is like a little fingernail right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a little medium and I'm gonna drill medium down in there because it'll get down inside of there and hopefully it will help um, seal it together. Where's my, my uh, activator? Shoot that. Now what I'm gonna to try to do is, since that's got a rough spot on it, I'm gonna to try to build it up a little bit. Okay, so in other words, when I come through here, I'm cutting the CA first, and then as I cut into the CA, the, uh, the, the CA will raise my tool up as I cut across the top of it, and as I slowly take the CA down, I'll start to reach the fingernail, and hopefully, uh, I'm able to go ahead and just trim that right off nice and smooth. Looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little thin while I've got the lathe stopped on the whole blank and then we'll come back once it's dry and uh, see if we can finish turning. You can hear my grinder spinning down. I don't know if that catch was because I presented the wrong angle of the tool or I caught it on a corner or my tool was getting dull. So I went ahead and ran this across the grinder one more time, put a nice edge on it. And now we're gonna come back and very lightly, we're gonna baby this and see if we can't. We are so close at the ends I mean, I'm really liking that. There's a little bit of a lip there, but a couple of passes should put it where it needs to be. So let me see if we can finish this thing off. Well guys, this is the state of my turning table. Uh, you saw the piece come loose again as I caught it. Uh, you saw it hanging on the edge of my tool. I went back and watched the video to see where it went. It looked like it dropped straight down, uh, and I've got the lathe out of the way, but straight down would have been, it would have hit the top of the motor here. Um, there was some stuff on the top of the motor, some sawdust, what have you, or I knocked it all off and I felt through it, couldn't find anything. I've gone around behind the table here and I've looked on these tools to see if it maybe got caught on that rack. I've gone through the floor back there and I, for the life of me, cannot find that piece. And I really hate to give up on this blank. It's going to drive me nuts if I have to. Uh, you, can, you can see where my uh, little uh, flooring there is raised up, where I slid my, my uh, chop saw out of the way and checked under it and all around it. I have no idea where that little piece dropped off to. All right, fellow turners, here's the blank. Take a good look at it. It's, it's doused in CA glue. As I was turning, there's the piece I lost. I dug, I was down on my hands and knees under my bench looking for that thing, and I cannot find what happened to that piece. So there's the hole or the, the divot that I'm looking at. 
What I'm gonna do is, you've seen me fix a number of blanks using different methods. I wanna know, what do you guys think? What would you like to see me do to this blank to try to repair it? It's too beautiful to lose. You're gonna see it again in another video, but you guys get to vote on the repair. And the, the, the most interesting repair, uh, or possibly the most popular repair, if there's a bunch of people that have the same idea, uh, I don't know yet. I'll make a decision and pick after I see them, but we are gonna bring this blank back and I wanna know what you guys think. Tell me how I should fix it. Well guys, sometimes things just aren't meant to be. However, I think this blank has a ton of potential with the right repair. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys come up with and uh, I'll wait a little while. I'll tally them all up. I'll make my decision whether I wanna go with uh, the most popular or the most creative. And then I'll come back, I'll tell you what that was, and uh, we'll do another video where we attempt to repair this blank. Haven't given up yet, but it all depends on you. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody, and have a great evening.